now we have come to a very crucial point of formulating the paints and what are the important parameters uh, to be considered in paint formulation pigment binder ratio so this is a very important one then solid content that is also called non volatile material that is given as percentage then pigment volume concentration and the cpvc critical pigment volume concentration and uh, we should know about the viscosity specificity then based on that we have to work out the costs of our formulated product let's discuss one by one pigment binder ratio so here the pigment when i say pigment we had to consider the weight of the pigment and also it may contain some extender so you have to include that one also so it is the total weight of the pigment and the extender divided by the solid content of the binder so that gives you the pigment binder ratio i will work out all uh, that is uh, these parameters by taking one uh, sample formula then solid content this is nothing but the weight of the non volatile material present in the paint divided by the weight of the paint we are taken into 100 so how it should be taken i will uh, detail everything in the experimental part third the pigment volume concentration about which we already discussed which is nothing but the volume of the pigment how can you get the volume of the pigment after all it is the pigment in the solid form how can you get the volume we can work out based on this for example we know the density so density is equal to weight by volume if we know the density of the pigment by knowing the weight we can calculate the volume therefore volume is equal to that is weight divided by the density based on which we can calculate the volume of the pigment into 100 divided by the total weight of the pigment and the non volatile binder we have to consider only the solid content of the pigment i mean uh, binder and so this is a very important parameter in paint formulation and describes the quality of the paint also and uh, here the pvc affects the following parameters like gloss opacity durability rheology that is the setting characteristics washability even water resistance water permeability etc then um, we know already the pigment volume concentration vary for different types of paint for example in the case of matte paint it is around 50 to 70 and for specific uh, semi glossy paint it is 35 to 45 then high glossy or glossy 20 35 percentage and for exterior house paints it is a 28 to 36 percent metal primer it should be 25 to 40 percent and wood primer it will be having more pigmentation that is a pigment volume concentration 35 minus uh, 35 to 40 percentage let me further explain on the pigment volume concentration so this is the low pigment volume concentration and let me say this is the high pigment volume concentration what do you mean by this assume that this is the paint vehicle the medium so here the solid part the paint part is like this the distance between the the distance between the pigments dispersed here is greater whereas here it is very closer much closer that is the pigment part is greater and the gaps are less for able follow so this is what called the pigment volume concentration assuming that all these are pigment okay so the concentration of pigment it means the volume occupied by the pigment to the total volume in this case is much less here it is more so it means that is we have got more amount of pigment extended and that is why if it is high gloss means it will be lpvc that is low pigment volume concentration if it is a matte means you can understand 
the pigment volume concentration is more almost it is 50 to 70 percentage are you able to follow this concept okay so this is called pigment volume concentration and we should know something about the weight i mean the specific gravity or the density of the paint see that is uh, all in ingredients will be in terms of weight so you have got the let me consider the specific gravity of the paint how to calculate this very simple that is take the weight of the paint okay simply speaking divided by the fixed volume of the paint that's all so this is given in ml this is given in gram so usually it is given in gram per ml okay so that describes the specific gravity of the paint and the viscosity of the paint is it is the rate of flow of liquid or paint actually you got a four cup that is or also called flow cup it will be like this there will be a small orifice it is a fixed volume so here you have to that is uh, add the liquid and uh, you have to uh, calculate the time taken to complete completely empty this small vessel okay so this is called four cup b4 so we used to give in terms of for example uh, say about uh, 80 seconds like that or 120 seconds in b4 cup b4 likewise we used to mention okay so these are all the regular uh, controlling parameters being maintained in any paint industry